guys, this is Gay Vlogs, and today I will be showing you on how to make an e certificate generated automatically when a participant fill up a form in a webinar. First, go to your Google account and go to Drive. I'll just create a new folder here for easily access. I will name it as e certificates. could choose any template or design of your certificate or you could also download it online You could also upload any logos or pictures you want to in your slides or in your certificate. You must not forget these symbols here in the full name. You should put those symbols. Those are very important because that is the place where the name of the participant will be automatically placed and we're done let's go to new and then to google forms this is where the participant fill up the form so that it would be automatically emailed into their email address Let's put the full name and we must click the required button.
after that go to settings then click the box with collect email addresses and you could also limit them to one response then that's done then we have email address and full name go to response create a spreadsheet and a spreadsheet would be made with timestamp email address and full name go to ads on and look for autocrat i already download the autocrat here in my uh, email that's why it's already installed if you could not find it you could also search it autocrat and install Once again, go to Ads On and click Autocrat, then Launch. Just click the New Work. Or New Job. Just put a title for your work. Let's say E-Certificate, then click Next. So choose template, of course, you choose what we have made before, Untitled Presentation, we haven't put a title in it, then next, there you go, in here, you must put full name in maps to column, click next, File setting, file name of your work. I will also put it in here like a certificate webinar. Then choose the type. I would choose PDF. Then click the multiple output mode. Choose a folder where would it be seen. So before we have made a new folder named a certificates. So that's where it would go. Then click next. This is just an optional if you want to add. Here too. Just click next and click yes. Run form trigger. This will just go in a second. Let's just wait. Just click save. Let's go. Saving job e certificate. Then click run job. This would merge the form to the template we had made. After that, let's close this one. As you can see, in our template, you can see the merge docs. Go back to the Google form that we had made and let's try it. Just click preview. There you go. Just put your email address and your full name and click submit. So that's all. Thank you for watching.